Hi Glamazons, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nikita, founder of GlamazonDiaries.com and Glamazon Diaries TV, which you're watching right now. So today's video is all about cozy knits, so is the knit edit. And I'm gonna show you how to style some of my favorite knits for fall and winter actually. Um, I'm in Fort Worth right now, so I'm dressing for the weather. But for all my East Coast gals, all the girls who are in snowy conditions, this video is going to show you how to take your outfit from fall to winter effortlessly. Um, a few tips and tricks along the way I'm going to give you, um, but let's get started with the video. Before we get started, please give me a thumbs up on this video if you love it, and make sure that you're subscribed to this channel just in case you are not already, and make sure that you have the notification button on so that you are alerted each and every time I post a video. Housekeeping rules, before we get started, let me tell you what I'm wearing. Um, I'm wearing the sweater from Atlantic Pacific. It's Blair Eady's uh, collection, and this sweater is a mixed print. It comes in two different colors. I love this one. It is the black and tan with the navy and white, and I'm pairing it with my old ASO striped skirt and a wide belt. Um, the skirt and the belt are sold out, but I'm gonna find something equivalent or comparable and link it in the description. So let's get started with the video. The first knit is this little black dress. You can never go wrong with a little black dress, especially a little knit black dress. And it's this one from H&M. I love the V-neck. It's a little bit demure, so it doesn't show anything that you don't want to show. And I love the long sleeve as well. It keeps you cozy and warm. Um, when, Especially now, right now, with the AC on. I know, it's a little hot in Fort Worth, don't judge me. But in New York City, you can get away with this when the weather is in the 60s with just a little scarf around your neck, and you're good to go. But of course, if I want to look a little bit extra fancy in the house, I'm wearing my Marabou feathered Louis Vuitton slippers because why not? I can be extra, right? I love to lounge around the house in this, especially because I'm always on Zoom calls during the day and this is just an easy piece for me to wear. But if I'm going out to brunch, to work or anywhere else, I would put on a camel coat and these Amazon slippers. This is from The Drop. I would pair that and then you know, add some accessories and make it fun. This sweater I got in the extra large because I just want it a little bit roomier. I don't want it too fitted. Uh, but this is the perfect everyday piece. You can add a gold necklace on here and it just zhuzhes it up within like five seconds. So we have the little black dress. Now let's introduce the little white dress. This is the little knit white dress or the little white knit dress. The little white knit dress. So this one is from ASOS or ASOS and I love this piece because it is, first of all, it is a creamy white. It's not that stark white so if my makeup gets on it, it's, you know, I can be forgiven for it. What I love about it is the slit on the side. That's right, it's a little sexy. So think date nights, um, going to brunch with the girls in the winter time. This is the perfect knit. I love the puff sleeve, so it's a little bit roomy, so you're not, um, you're, you don't feel constricted. I also love the length of this and the crew neck. With the crew neck or the round neckline, you can add a statement necklace, a choker, and it is just sublime. So I'm showing you how to dress it up or down. Um, my Lofla Randall shoes, of course, you can never go wrong with Lofla Randall. These ones are super comfy. I love these, but I have the taller ones. Um, this one is the Amelia. It's a little bit shorter. I'll say like two inches or two and a half inches. So it's definitely perfect for walking. This with it, if you want to zhuzh it up a notch, add a white coat. Hello, Olivia Pope style. This is Olivia Pope going to brunch during quarantine. And I would add a hat like this one. This one is actually from Zara. Um, I got a few months ago. I'm going to link similar pieces if I can find them in the description box for you. But y'all, add a sunglasses, a bag, and you you look like a bag of money, okay? So this, this dress is definitely a favorite as well. And it's so soft. I have to say, none of these things are itchy. I hate itchy things. I hate itchy sweaters. They drive me nuts. So this one, definitely a go as well. And I got it in a 
in a 14. So in ASOS, I wear a 14, um, 12, 14 in ASOS, most pieces. So this one is definitely a keeper. I mean, look at the, look at the sleeve right here. Let's see if we'll zoom in for you. She is so beautiful. Um, the detailing on this dress is really, really nice. So I'm obsessed with this because of the detailing. It just looks really, really expensive and it feels nice and luxe. Um, just a few tips for me I am 5'4 so this hits me right below the like a little mid calf it's perfect length for me because I love to wear heels if you don't this if you're shorter it might be more of a maxi but that's okay because you can either do boots pumps or you can even do sandals if you want but this is a keeper for me my little white dress up next is this gorgeous gorgeous color sweater and this one is from Amazon. Um, I love this. The little puffy thingies. I don't know what they call them. Uh, they're like little puff, puff sleeve. Oh. What makes the sweater extra special is the details, or are the details? All the puffy, the little puffs right here, and then you have some um, striping, knit striping on the sleeve. So it's just so pretty. Um, and it's not too pricey. I'm gonna leave the I think this was under $60 and it feels so soft I love this one so much that I got it in a different color and it's this piece in green um, This one is a reverse of the sweater the puffs or the little puffy things are on the on the sleeves and then the striping is on the front um, so it depends on you know your flavor but these are so cute I'm styling this with a chocolate skirt I already posted these on Instagram and I wore them both with the same green hunter green skirt and these they look amazing but you can swap out the skirt for a different color um, and you can go you can't go wrong just experiment like this one you can do a red skirt with it if you want to experiment with color and it will be it'll still look it will pop like I mean look at my nails with this It'll look really, really good. Or you can keep it monochrome with this look. Actually, either one. I own these sweaters in white. That was actually the first one that I got. And then I had to just grab these two colors because they're so pretty. This one with a hunter green skirt, a pleated skirt. <clears throat> hint, hint. I already wore it. Will look so good together. So these two, again, my favorite knits. Really, really soft and fitted. Um, the sleeve. Look, check out the sleeve. I mean, if you're going to invest in a sweater, I think you need to just make sure the detail, the details just, it's all in the details, y'all. Like, all in the details. Look at this one. Love. Love. All right. Next up, y'all, is very special. It's a very special skirt. And I have been waiting to wear it because I got it, um, I, I, I got it in New York. And I didn't get a chance to wear it because I was waiting for the weather to get cold. But now it's cold in Fort Worth, so I am wearing it it is this beautiful oh my god 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 let me just back up a little bit so you can see it look at the skirt y'all like it is a wrap skirt from j crew it is so flattering just body yachty let's see sorry i had it in the back all right there it is this look at the bottom it has the little shredding right here. I love the color combo in the bottom, the stripes. So you can wear so many different colors with it. On J. Crew's website, they had it um, with a green turtleneck sweater, but I'm wearing it with a white sweater from H&M. Still looks really, really good. Or you can do orange, you can do white, you can do blue. I mean, 50 shades, okay? This skirt sold out before, but it's back, and you have to hurry before it goes away again. It's currently available in the extra small, extra large, and double XL. I have the extra large on and it fits really, really beautifully. It's not too tight, not too um, loose. I'd say the, the waist is a, a, a tad loose, but nothing a belt won't fix. And I am wearing this with either, you can, you can pick. If you want to just be a little bit comfy, you go with your flats, low flow randall, you can do boots and they'll look really, really good. Um, I tried the, these snakeskin boots that <sighs> it was a fail because it wouldn't fit across my ankle. It's okay though, because I have other shoes. I'm, I'm also dressing this up a little bit more, elevating it with my Christian Louboutin Pigalle. 
This one hurts, but it's also door-to-door -door shoes. Pair it with the skirt, y'all, it looks bomb. And you can also do a button-down uh, button down shirt with this. You, you can't go wrong with anything with a sweater skirt or a knit skirt, whatever you want to call it. It's a sweater skirt. Anyway. Last but certainly not least is this beautiful sweater from Blair Eadie's collection for Nordstrom, um, Atlantic Pacific Halogen, and it launched two weeks ago. This one finally came in. I was waiting for this to be delivered so that I could shoot that haul video that I posted last week, but it arrived and you know what? I decided to add it to my knit edit. So this sweater, I love it. What I love about it is the fact that it's double striped or it's, it has contrasting stripes. You have the wide here, you have skinny stripes, you have black and tan, you have a blue and white. I mean, it is just, it's a statement itself. And if you dare to wear, why not have fun with it? So I, so I paired this sweater with my favorite striped skirt from ASOS and I'm adding Louboutins and cinching the waist with my white belt because honestly, I feel like it just, gives it some symmetry and it just makes it look a lot extra classic. So I'm wearing this with my ASOS skirt. This is my favorite striped skirt. Um, thank you Tanisha, Girl With Curves, for giving me the link for this skirt over the summer. And I'm pairing it with my Louboutin um, heels. They're super, super comfy. I love the outfit, it's such a statement. It's one of those pieces, or this look is one of those um, looks that will turn heads and give you lots of compliments. Um, sadly, the skirt is sold out, but um, I promise you, I. Come close, come closer, closer. All right, I promise I'm going to find you an equivalent skirt to this one, promise. These are my favorite knits for fall. Of course I have other knits that are in my closet and I'm going to be filming throughout the winter, um, but I wanted to show you these pieces because they're extra special, versatile, and they go with almost everything in my closet and they probably will go with everything in your closet too. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And if you are, click on the notification button so that you are alerted every time I post a new video. And always, I enjoy reading your comments, so please leave me a comment in the comment section, whether it's you have questions, you have concerns, um, suggestions on videos that you want me to do, or even sizing questions or issues, please leave them and I will be sure to answer. Until, Until next time, have a great day and be kind to one another. All right, bye.